Hello everybody, it's the Dancing Squid, and what? Nothing on the PC this time, this is Splatoon 1. Yes guys, my capture card has finally come in, and we're ready to start doing games off consoles, and this is the first episode of the Let's Play series of the Splatoon 1 single player campaign, so let's dive right into it. The the the, the, Oct the Octarians are coming! No! Oh, uh, I guess I lost my cool for a minute there. I'm Captain Cuttlefish, the leader of the legendary Squidbeak Splatoon. That look in your eye, it's the look I've been looking for. The great zapfish that powers Inkopolis has been squidnapped. Nobody believes me, but it's the work of the Octarians, I just know it. They want revenge for the great turf war of a hundred years ago. I've been keeping an eye on them the whole time, of course. They stole the great zapfish right from under my nose. Please, you gotta help me rescue the great zapfish. So, I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Starting today, you're Agent 3 of the new Squidbeak Splatoon. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. What a great fit for a hand-me-down from Agents 1 and 2. Now let's get those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. Ah, Cat and Cuttlefish. Man, have I missed you. Freaky old dude. Well, let's dive right into it. We have to reveal the Octarian Lair, and we're gonna go right into the first level. Now I'm gonna try and find all the secrets, so you guys know where they're at. Bo -bo -do -do. Bo -bo -do. It's been so long since I actually played a single-player campaign in this game. Like I've been playing a lot of Splat One lately, and this is just. Just to take care of these guys. These, these have to be like, the dumbest soldiers I've ever seen in a video game. So you dive into your ink right in front of them. They're like, oh, wait, where'd you go? Well, we're just gonna kind of sail right on through here. Just destroy them. Didn't mean to do that. We're just gonna complete as many of the levels as we can. These, these guys are regular Octo Troopers. They're easily dispatched. Just a couple shots from the hero shot. And they're done. I believe. Oh, yes. Secrets. Gotta love me them secrets. Alright, now what we just picked up there is a sunken scroll, and it's kind of important to some of the story of this game. It's kind of how you unlock it. You learn more about the Inklings, the Great Turf War of 100 years ago. There we go, we got some armor, which we won't really need because these guys are really easy to take care of. We might need it later on, though. Got a key. Head over to the safe. Here we go, we gotta find another key. And it's right here. So, uh, if I'm going too fast, uh, just let me know in the comments, guys, because it's like. Overall, this should be fairly easy to follow, because it is just the first couple levels, and they're kind of super easy. And there we go, we got ourselves a little baby zapfish. They're so cute. Bam! And we got the secret. Since the immemorial, a rare type of electric catfish, known as the zapfish, has been prized by Inkling Society as a source of energy. In fact, the entire city of Angopolis is powered by a single 100-year-old great zapfish. This is kind of interesting. Very eco-friendly, too. 
Here we go, Lair of the Octoballs, level two. Splatter the wall and swim up with squid form. As if I didn't know from the tutorial already. Which I suppose somebody could do that. Octoball. You kind of got to get these guys trapped in the ink, and they sort of slow down enough for you to hit them. Easy. There we go. Just like the first couple ones we took out. This is a squeegee. They clear the walls whenever you spray them down with ink. Just try to distract them with one bit of ink, and then move on to the next. And here we go for the second second scroll. And we got that. Easy peasy on the roof. And that guy's taken care of. Like, I... I'm going really fast, and I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. But, yeah, I've played this, I've played this campaign, I don't know how many times, I just loved it so much. This is just a game that Nintendo came out with that had so much character. It was just so different from anything else we've seen. And I really like that. Like, I had tons of fun playing this game when it first came out. I, I think this is probably like my most played game on the Wii U. Now, for some of these areas, you do have to clear out the enemies first before you can advance. But I just kill them all anyways. And triple kill. They sort of just lined themselves up for it. They were asking for it. Here we go. We have our first cannon. There we go. We sort of have to just use this cannon to spray the wall because our hero shot doesn't have enough reach. There we go. We got it covered enough so where we can uh, deal with the squeegee. And up we go. Zapfish number two. Bam. Easy peasy lemon greasy. Now we're moving on to the next level, after we read the Sunken Scroll. We Octarians dwell in a world of deep underground, with individual caves in which we live in are connected by a network of transport devices known as kettles. Wow, I learn something new every day. Then, I know. I know, Captain Kettlefish. And on to... Le the next level, layer of the octo, layer of the octocopters. Let me just take it. Let me just take a moment to say like how good the music was in this game. I mean, it was just absolutely stellar work from Nintendo, and it's something I've always praised Splatoon about for having such like creative soundtrack. As you can see, the octo, the octocopters, they just sort of hover around in the air. Just sort of as easy targets, if you're just paying attention. Ooh, I think... Yes, we are. We're almost at that point. Yes, we are. Say hello to the Inkzuka. It's basically just a big honking bazooka. And this special was so much fun to use. It was so destructive. Like, it, it was powerful if you could uh, use it correctly. And really, all the specials in this game were very powerful. They were, like, really overpowered. I just sort of imagine, like, what the ink strike would be if it was in Splatoon 2. 
really powerful. And there's the other sunken scroll. Man, all the good memories are coming back to me. I love this campaign so much. I might do the amiibo challenges just to show you guys those. Well, that probably won't be for a while. Alright, now let's swim on the ink rail. And here we go, the first sighting of an Octobomber. They launch bombs, and as long as you can get yourself underneath them, you're fine. And there we go. Level completed, and the third Zap Fish is in our hands. And now we will be going on to the final kettle of this area, the boss. Seems to be an Octarian assault vehicle, but it doesn't have it doesn't appear to have an engine. The big question is, how does it move? It's frightening clear that the source of Octarian power lies from a realm outside of established of established science. I am terrible at reading. Now time for the boss. It's a giant GameCube! Oh no! Actually, I didn't know. Not that frightening, actually. Oh no. Well hi, well, hi there! You're big ugly, aren't you? Ladies and gentlemen, the Octo Stamp. You sort of have to trick him into going where you aren't doing that, and climb up the walls. As I just did there. Now watch what he's gonna do. Some of the panels are gone, which makes it a bit more tricky to climb up him. But, same drill as before. Get him the face plant, and climb. Now they move, which does make it slightly harder. It might take you two face plants to get this one. Depending on how these panels move for you. We got lucky there. And bish bash bosh, we got it. Look at those fancy legs. Kaboom. Now everything's green. We shall grab these and the power eggs. And we have rescued a fourth zapfish. The mighty Octo Stamp is not mighty anymore. The vast. They have the great Octo weapons at their side. At any rate, good work, Agent 3. Keep it up. It's a long road to the Great Zapfish. And ladies and gentlemen, we have just gotten a weapon blueprint. Anti-octopus weapon blueprints. Designer, Amosis Schoendorf. Ammo Knights, Booyah Base. One floor, Inkopolis, 11-1. Terrian electronics are not good. Let's go to the next area. Game, you're lying to me. I'm on the ramp. Anyways, that was the first area of the campaign, and indeed the first episode of this Let's Play series. I hope you all have really enjoyed watching that. And if you did, go ahead and comment, hit that like button, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more Splatoon content, go ahead and hit the bell icon so you're notified when it's uploaded. Or just, you know, su subscribe in general. This has been the Dancing Squid as an actual squid. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.